Hello everybody, Adam Steele here, and today is an announcement that we have a new pack being released on the Two Notes store of their Dine IRs. Or should I say, my Dine IRs. This is the Titanica Britannica. Very British and very big. All these cabinets are very British, and as described, either really heavy or really huge. Amongst them, we have a 6x12 by Zilla, a 4x15 cabinet from an old British manufacturer called Sai, a 1x12 cabinet made of stone, as seen on the Spectre Sound Studios channel, a base Marshall 4x10, a base Trace Elliott 4x10, and one of a pair of incredibly rare PA columns from Vox, which were made in 1969 and contain the holy grail of speakers, the pre-roller Celestian G12s. In this case, I think they're the G12Ls, which have relatively light magnets, but it is that classic pre-anything way back in the day Celestian sound. And these cabinets are completely pristine. I bought them from a church. So without further ado, let's give these a little demo. So the base for these first couple of demos is going to be from the uh, Trace Elliott cab, which is a big, deep cabinet. And I'll start with the guitars on the Ultra Beast. Start with them on the V30, because that's the one that a lot of people I think are going to use. And then the same cabinet again, but with the Celestian Creambacks. These are the M65s, but to make it interesting, the way that I've had the cabinet wired, I can completely disconnect the Vintage 30s, which is what I've done in this case, which means that they now act as passive radiators, which means that when the creambacks go thump, the Vintage 30s kind of thump backwards, and it gives a big, tight low end, which is something that a lot of modern like, monitor speakers are starting to do that kind of thing with passive radiators. You'll see it from some of the companies like uh, Key Audio or uh, Barefoot, people like that, where it's like really kind of harnessing the power of not having to port the cabinet, but still get a big thump. Now, the cabinet called DOOM! That one is fascinating. This is a 4x15 cab that was made fairly locally to me in England. I think it was trying to copy one of the PA cabinets that I think Sun might have been making. Don't quote me on that. But because of that, it has 15 inch speakers kind of folded in at a 45 degree angle and kind of pointing outwards against each other. And because of that, it really radiates the sound which also means that it sounds really unusual compared to any other guitar cabinet. It's not got that super focused upper mid-range, it's really kind of got quite a soft, diffuse kind of sound, which if you're doing doom metal, stoner metal, that kind of big, long kind of thing, this could be the ideal cab sound for you to use if you're not using the real cab in the room for whatever reason, because this will give you that quite soft kind of big sound and means that you can use a relatively bright amp or a relatively bright fuzz tone, something like that, and it will come across thick and meaty and magically kind of do its own thing. So that sounds like this.
And this is the cabinet that was inspired by Vox. These things are really rare to find in this kind of condition. And yeah, I got these from, like I said earlier, a church that had used them for light PA use and not a lot else. So they've been very well looked after. They weigh an absolute ton and they are wired in such a way that they're a 16 ohm cab which means that it's really easy to use them with a guitar amp although each column is only rated for about 60 watts so i can use them both together with something like a fender twin without worrying about it going bang uh, but you guys don't have to worry about that kind of wattage because you can just use them exactly like this And last but not least, we've got the Stone Cab. This thing has very little low end as a 1x12. It's very tight sounding, very bright. But it also means that the low end response doesn't go woof like a lot of big cabinets do, which means you can do something extreme like we saw on the Spectre Media Channel when Glenn Fricker was here and demoed the cab, where you can really crank the bass on an amp, scoop the mids, and put that through that cabinet and suddenly that balances out quite well and really gives you an alternative flavor that sits really well in a mix where a lot of uh, tones sound really good on their own but kind of fall back in a mix or are too harsh. This thing can be molded with the amp settings to really bring you out of there. So grab them now. Titanica Britannica is on sale on the Two Notes store. The link is down in the description. Pip pip.